we hear pound, pound, pound on our front door. Um, and we could hear somebody saying, help me, help me. Witnesses describing the aftermath of a crash that happened overnight in Buxton, a crash that cut short the life of a Bonnie Eagle High School student. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill is live in Buxton, where a vigil for the victim just took place near the scene. Paul. Steve, it was a sad scene here in Buxton. Friends of Angel Green just left. They gathered at the spot on the side of the road where she died early this morning. They planted a cross in the ground, left flowers, lit candles, and they cried. Angel Green's friends crippled by grief tonight as they gather near the spot where the Bonnie Eagle High School junior died early this morning. She was great. She was always really happy. She was always laughing and smiling. And every time I saw her, and she was just a great person. Everybody she was around was always happy. You could ask anyone from Bonnie Eagle about Angel Green, and they would tell you that she was a very, very beautiful girl, and she was loved by so many people. And I mean, you can see that there are just so many people that are here to mourn the loss of a really, really great woman. Three other people were riding in this car when it crashed on Turkey Lane in Buxton just after 1.30 a.m. Elaine Arsenault lives right next to where the car landed. I thought I heard thunder and I, I knew I shouldn't be hearing thunder. I woke my husband and sent him outside and says, Dick, this is this is bad and and he went out on the edge of the lawn and I didn't know it, but there was a dead girl on the lawn and I didn't know it at the time. Stephanie Christiana lives across the road. I grabbed the phone and called nine one one. By the time I got down the stairs, the young man um, was inside our house, a face covered in blood, complaining that his back was broken. There are two other roadside memorials within a half mile of where this morning's crash happened. Neighbors tell us speed is a big problem here. Very busy and people fly on this road, especially coming down that hill. They just fly. I felt there was something needed to be done for years, but uh, mostly I pray. Buxton police releasing virtually no information about this today. We don't know the names of the other three people in the crash. We don't know their conditions. We do know that at least two of them were also students at Bonnie Eagle. We also don't know what exactly caused this horrible wreck. Live in Buxton, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.